Hey, what's going on there, YouTube? Sick Eric back again with another video, and today we're going to be doing a quick little walkthrough of the Developer Preview 4 on the OnePlus 7 Pro. Now, this just got released a couple days ago. I don't know if it was yesterday or the day before, but it is an upgrade to the Android Q betas on the OnePlus 7 Pro and the OnePlus 7. I'm not sure if that one's getting the Developer Preview 4 or not. But it is available for the OnePlus 7 Pro. And in order to download this, you're just going to go ahead and go into your Play Store and download Oxygen Updater. And once you download that, you're going to go into Settings. And then you're going to click on the very top up here where it says Update Method. And you have Android Q Developer Preview, Full Update, or Incremental Update. We are on Android Q Developer Preview. So now when you do that, you are able to download the Developer Preview 4. It gives you some of the known issues right here. Application comp compatibility problems. I've noticed some stuff like we're using a third-party launcher. I'm going to tell you guys about it in a bit. Low probability with stable stability issue. Uh, low prob probability with lagging issue. Uh, there is a little times to where it has a little bit of a stutter, but nothing too serious. Uh, nothing to cry home about. Google Pay can't work. I have not tried that yet. Everything still shows up in my Google Pay. The fingerprints will be cleared. You must set it manually. So all your fingerprints will be gone. You just have to go in and set up your fingerprints again once you update this. Now this will not wipe your data like previous ones would. So this is one of the reasons why I went ahead and took the plunge and installed this. Uh, once you install it, everything will be fine. All your information will still be there and it will not wipe or your data or do a factory reset on your devices. So that is a really, really cool plus right there. So let's go ahead and jump down into it. There are some visual changes on here uh, with using the uh, developer review for uh, your nav bar gestures are a little bit different. I'm going to tell you guys about that. Um, while using a third-party launcher. I'm using Launcher, Launcher version 2. Let's go ahead and jump into the settings. Uh, everything is a little bit uh, the same. Some stuff is different as far as the layout. You got all your Wi-Fi information, uh, <clears throat> etc. All your Bluetooth information, um, Bluetooth stuff. You click on your Bluetooth. It does look a little bit different here as far as the icons go and the layout for all your Bluetooth information. Uh, your display stuff pretty much stayed the same. You got your screen timeouts, your night modes, uh, screen calibration, all the same settings right here, vivid, natural, advanced, etc. Uh, your reading mode, everything is pretty much the same. You still have the 90 hertz, 60 hertz, of course. Uh, video enhancer, still the same. All your font sizes, display size, status bar, information different battery icons still the same hopefully they'll include some other stuff on here your screen saver as far as um hopefully they include different battery icons that would be really nice uh now you have a customization section too where you could customize your overall theme let's try carnival palettes i don't know what that did which is weird okay so we're going to go ahead and go back. So it did change the wallpaper a little bit. And everything still looks dark. My icons are now round. Before everything was sort of a square look. Even on my launcher. Um, my folders were square. My search bar was squared. So now they're round again. So that's pretty cool. Um, settings are still dark. So let's go back into customization. And here you could change the buttons. Colorful theme can only use system tone. Let's go ahead and go back to dark. And then go back to button. So now everything has changed as far as your system goes. Now you can change all your accent colors, etc. And stuff like that. So let's go ahead and go back. Uh, you have the shape of your quick tile settings. So you could go square shape, round, uh, teardrop or round rectangle on your quick setting tile. So that's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and go to square. Let you guys see how that looks. So now all your quick tiles are squared off. 
Uh, here you could choose your icon packs as well, or your you know OnePlus icon packs and other icon packs that you've downloaded as well. I got Pixel Pi Dark, Oxy Pi, Pixel Full, and here you go. You have uh, different fonts. I wish they would include more fonts on here, but all they have are the uh, typical two that you have on here. Uh, up top right here, you got your clock style, which nothing has really changed. It's still the same clock styles on the OnePlus. You got all your different wallpapers on here as well. Uh, you got your fingerprint animation, which there are still just three. Or you could have the uh, none on there. And then you have a horizon light, which they did add a couple of new colors. Uh, now you get blue, red, gold, and purple which is pretty cool uh, going on you get all your sound and vibration stuff Dolby Atmos is still here uh, dynamic movie music your style preferences everything is still there do not disturb this pretty much in this area pretty much looks the same your notifications system sounds uh, system vibration uh, your buttons and gestures now here's where things get a little bit more interesting so now you only have two types of gestures before you had the pixel pill type full gestures and then your fixed navigation bar as you can see right here I have now um, with full navigation gestures there is a little bit of a different feel I guess uh, especially when you're using a third-party launcher so for instance if I go home everything was smooth going back home and I'm using launcher launcher so if I go back to that and if I click uh, navigation gestures, which gives you this sort of a slider on the bottom to go through all your different apps and stuff, and then you go back, your back settings are gonna be off to the side. So if I swipe up and go back into my settings and then I swipe up again, see how there's like a little glitch in the animation when going back to the home. Uh, that is a little bit of annoying a uh, little bit of a, like I said, a little glitch on here. Not everything is perfect. If you use the OnePlus launcher, it does not do that. But I've noticed if you use any other third-party launcher, you do have that little animation glitch when you go back home from your settings or from any other app on here. So if I swipe back home, it just shows that little animation glitch on there. Uh, so I pretty much just go ahead and turn on the buttons just so I don't have that problem. So now when I go home, it just resets everything. So let's try that again. It's perfect. So yeah, a little bit, it's not perfect, but everything still does work pretty well on here. So uh, I'm a little ex disappointed they got rid of one of the gesture options. Um, you still have your quick turn on camera, press power button twice for your camera. So if you want to activate that while your phone is off, you click that twice and it will activate the camera. Uh, that is still stays the same right there. So let's go back into settings. Now you can see there is every now and then a little bit of a lag or a stutter on there. Like I said, it's not that serious. Um, sometimes you won't even notice it, sometimes you will. It's not that bad guys, trust me. Uh, utilities, you get all your quick launch stuff, so when you long press on your fingerprint sensor, it will take you into some little shortcut gestures. Um, all your scheduled off, OnePlus switch, everything is still in the same little area for utilities. Screen, security, lock screen, etc. All your fingerprints, face unlock, and all your security update information as well. All your information will be down here, advanced stuff that I really don't use, all your location stuff, apps and notifications you do have a little bit of a different look to it, see all 100 apps here you could uninstall apps, you know, control the notifications, uh, permissions and all of that kind of stuff uh, you do get a new digital well-being which is found on the pixel it shows you your times that you spent on all your apps, you know, Facebook, YouTube and all of that kind of stuff dashboard you have a wind down mode so if you're getting ready to go to sleep you could click this on at bedtime and it'll sort of wind you down from your day so that is pretty cool uh, battery life all your battery usage everything 
you know, still pretty much looks the same here for that. Uh, about phone, you get all your information right here, of course, Android version 10, uh, Oxygen OS, you know, everything that shows everything on here about your device. So that is pretty cool. System, here you're going to find all your uh, developer options, RAM boost, and your system updates for all of that kind of stuff right there. System is up to date. So if you do want to download this, you're going to go into Oxygen Updater and you're just going to hit download for developer preview 4 and then when you're done with that you're going to go into system updates click on the little gear up top on the right and you're going to hit local upgrade as you can see i still got mine there um, and pretty much install it that way and you will be ready to go it'll prompt you to reboot your device you reboot and then once you come back you're on android 10 which is really really cool feeling Samsung doesn't even have this out yet. Um, the only other people that are working on this update, I believe, is Google, and OnePlus is not far behind. So it's really, really cool. I'm really enjoying using this. Like I said, I, did, I installed it yesterday. I'm liking all the features. Um, I am missing some of the uh, navigation features on here, but it's really not that big of a deal. Um, the new navigation is just fine when you swipe on over to the right you know to do stuff uh, another issue I've had with using that navigation feature uh, let me just go ahead and show you guys really quick so when you have the full nav bar gestures you can hide this little bar at the bottom and then when you swipe back home see how it did that little stutter so if you want to go back you just swipe on over from the side and then you can go back swipe on over so all your backs are on the side your homes are over here. If you want Google Assistant, you go onto the corner for Google Assistant. Or I thought you did. Okay, well, that has changed a little bit. Google Assistant was on here. Uh, let's see. Let's try something else here, guys. Sorry about that. So let's go ahead and go back. Go back home. So, yeah, when you swipe on over to the corner, you do get Google Assistant on here as well, and it is on both sides. You'll see little bars on the sides, which is a little weird. Uh, let's go ahead and show you guys how this looks on the uh, ambient display. You'll have like little lines down here. I guess that is the Google Assistant. But yeah, it's, it's a pretty cool preview. Everything works pretty well on here, and it's only gonna get better with the uh, developer preview five. So I cannot wait. Uh, as far as uh, any issues that I'm having, um, yeah, I would just for now use your regular uh, navigation buttons. And other than that, no really big issues. Your camera does have a little bit different options like as far as tracking. You do have a new feature on here. Uh, focus tracking, focus tracking keeps moving people, cats and dogs. Always in focus, available in photo and video. So it will keep everything in focus uh, when you're moving. Apparently, I have not tried that out. Night mode seems to be a little bit better on here as well. Still no option to record in wide angle. Unfortunately, there is no video option for the wide angle. Not yet. Hopefully, they include that in there. Please, OnePlus, include that in there. That would be really cool. Other than that, guys, been really enjoying the Android Developer Preview 4 on here. If you want to install it, I'll post a link in the description for Oxygen Updater. That way you guys can go over there on a Play Store, download it, and install it for yourself. And check out the new features on here. And like I said, keep in mind, it's only going to get better with time. Uh, it is good enough to use as a daily driver, but that is totally up to you guys. I have two phones. I have the OnePlus 7 Pro and the Galaxy S10, so if anything happens over here, no big deal. I could go over to my S10 and I'll be all right, but everything seems to be working okay. Google Pay, I'm not quite sure if that works yet. I'll keep you guys updated whether or not that works. I have not tried it uh, since yesterday, but hopefully it does work. Other than little issues like the animations when using the gestures, uh, navigation gestures, or you know a third-party launcher, little stuff like that don't really bother me so i'm enjoying this check it out guys if you want to download it install it 
if you want to on your OnePlus 7 Pro. Let me know what you guys think. Hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Thumbs down if you didn't. That is quite all right. And don't forget to subscribe. Hit that little notification bell for future notifications on my channel. Hope you guys have a great day. Peace.